Hey everyone, it's Marianne, and this week we are talking about expectations on tea. Um, I've said this in quite a few of my videos, um, but before Aiden started testosterone, I was absolutely terrified and scared that tea was going to change him. So I guess you could say I was expecting um, tea to change Aiden. You know, I was afraid of losing him, that I wouldn't recognize who he was anymore, you know, emotionally, physically, and I was expecting testosterone to change the guy I fell in love with. Um, I don't remember quite when it happened, but there came a point, it was a few weeks after his first shot, and I knew things were going to be okay. You know, I took it one day at a time. We had open, honest communication with each other. And I just, I knew it was going to be okay for me, at least. Um, you know, I, I knew changes were going to happen, but I didn't expect how much I actually feared those changes in the beginning. Um, I have a very open mind, you know, love who you want to love, don't give two shits kind of personality. And I thought I was this tough girl who would have been like, oh, you want to transition? That's cool. Like, do whatever you want or do whatever makes you happy. Um, I didn't expect to be so damn scared. Um, Aiden is now a year and a month on T. And has he changed? Yes. Um, did I expect those changes? Yes. Because I did my own research beforehand, I knew what to expect, you know, as far as physical changes and things like that. Um, but like I said, I didn't expect to fear those changes. Um, speaking from personal experience, you know, it's okay to have those fears and those concerns. It is a scary time. Like, on one hand, I was totally excited for him and happy for him that he was doing this. But on the other hand, I was completely terrified. So it was like two different ends of the spectrum. Um, and all you can literally do is just take it one day at a time. You know, try not to stress. I know it's easier said than done. Um, but I could have saved myself so much stress and so much worry if I expected what I know now. Um, you know, expect changes. Expect that your partner is going to change but they're still the same person you fell in love with. Um, yeah. There's so many topics I feel like I could touch on with this. Um, I actually want to take this video in a different direction when we first came out with this topic idea. Um, I wanted to talk about more so how trans guys, how most some, or how most trans guys expect their problems to go away once they start T or even after they've had surgery. You know, whether that's dysphoria or depression or whatever the case may be. Um, again, this is something that I have talked a lot about in past videos. Um, so I thought maybe talking about expecting the unexpected would be more useful. So hopefully I was right in that. Um, yeah, you know, a lot of people will tell sweethearts to expect that your partner is going to change emotionally and you know they're going to become more angry and they're going to become assholes and but that's okay because you know they're just suggesting and I don't know maybe I'm one of the lucky ones and Aiden doesn't have or Aiden isn't riding this emotional roller coaster because he's still the same Aiden that he was you know he doesn't have roid rage he's not short with me he's not mean to me he's still Aiden like the only time he slightly gets a little grumpy, and it's not even like being grumpy, it's just like meh, 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 um, is like the couple days before his shot is due. So it's, I don't know, like he's not mean, he's not aggressive, he's still Aiden. Um, so yeah, there's lots of, you know, expectations on T. Um, another direction or point of view that you could come across is. Um, when Aiden first started transitioning, he knew not to expect the same changes as, you know, say person A. 
you know, this and this happened for person A at one month and this, 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 and this happened for person B at two months. You know, he wanted those changes to happen and hoped that those changes would follow the, ta- the same, I guess, time frame. But he knew not to expect that because everybody transitions differently and things like that. So I think trans guys need to not expect their transition to follow suit of person A or person B because everyone's body reacts differently. So don't expect the exact same results as people you may see online because like I said, people transition differently. Um, You know, just because you've started T doesn't mean that your dysphoria or your depression is going to go away. You know, maybe there's a further underlying issue that needs to be resolved first. So there's just, I feel like there's so many different ways I could have went with this topic and I feel, or I wish I could talk about them all more, but then I'd be here for an hour and you would be really bored of me and I'd probably be out of breath. So like I said, hopefully talking about expecting the unexpected would be more helpful to some people just because it was for me, like I wasn't expecting to be so afraid in the beginning and like I always say if I knew then what I know now could have saved myself so much hassle and so much stress and worry and all that kind of stuff so hopefully talking about this and expecting the unexpected you know might help someone along the way and make it a little easier for them so that's all I have to say. If you have any questions, concerns, if you want to talk about anything else, please feel free to either comment below or message me in the inbox and I'd be more than happy to talk about things with you. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching and hopefully you're having a fantastic week and I will see you all next time. Thanks. Bye.